Welcome to this EH Connects news update in which we want to pay attention to uh, the publication of a new EH guideline document. This guideline is developed by the EH Working Group uh, Cleaning and Validation and with us today is the chair of this working group, Hui Zhang. Hui, please introduce yourself. I'm the quality expert of a uh, quality group of supply chain of Unilever. Mm -hmm. And you're also the chair of the working group that developed this new guideline update. How long have you chaired this group, by the way? Uh, for five years. What would you consider to be the main challenges of the food industry at this moment with regards to uh, cleaning validation? And how important is cleaning validation with regard to food safety? Yeah, well, everybody in the food industry will agree that cleaning validation is critical for consumer safety. However, uh, there is still gap for the knowledge about how to do the cleaning validation correctly and effectively. Substandard cleaning validation will put the risk, will put the consumer safety in risk. On the other hand, if the people take the extremely conservative, conservative approach, It will, demand, it, it, uh, it will be also impractical because it demands a lot of time and uh, uh, a lot of resource. Now, your guideline is quite comprehensive, uh, but maybe you can give us a sneak preview. Uh, what basic criteria do you apply when it comes to cleaning validation? Yes, uh, actually the basic uh, criteria uh, of the cleaning validation is very simple. It is the visual cleanliness. It will say that product contact surface will be free of soil after cleaning. In addition to that, acceptance criteria should be set up based on the food safety requirements and legal requirements, considering pathogen, allergen, etc. And based on product quality requirement considering spoilage microorganisms and colors and other appearance attributes of the finished product. Mm -hmm. Now, besides the basic criteria to validate what is clean and what is not clean, there are different concepts within this uh, cleaning working field. There is the validation, there's the monitoring, and there's also the verification. Can you just lead us through that process and tell us what the differences and the correlation is between those stages? The, uh, the, these three activities, they are intermittently uh, related to each other. So uh, the part, the activity of monitoring and activity of veri uh, verification, they are the, also the essential activity of the cleaning validation. Cleaning validation is a process obtaining evidence that to show that our cleaning procedure can deliver an good results when cleaning is done properly. So typically it gave the it answered the question of does my cleaning program work? Now when we download this guideline and we look into it we can see that you not only updated the contents of uh, the guideline but also the format. You made it more user friendly? Yeah, uh, our guideline provides Uh, the overall concept and also a master plan. The master plan is a kind of step-by-step -step guidance to help people to complete the cleaning validation. Particularly, I would like, like to mention that we also include the several templates for cleaning validation protocol and the records. We also give the clear uh, explanation about how to use the templates and the people, what people should fill in the templates. We hope that people can follow the, can easily follow the protocol and also set up their own specific uh, cleaning validation program based on their specific product, specific circumstances. Your new guideline update is intended to be used by a wide variety of companies, big ones, small ones. You uh, work in your daily work for a particularly large company, Unilever. How does a company like yours apply a guideline like this? I presume that you have your cleaning validation practices firmly in place. 
Yeah, indeed. Yeah, but I think that EHEDD is an, a great uh, platform for all companies to share our knowledge and ex uh, experience, regardless their uh, business uh, uh, size. So during the uh, development of the guideline, I learned a, lo a lot from other experts. And after public uh, uh, publishing, I expect that the, the, the feedback of broader users will also broaden my view about cleaning and, and uh, cleaning, cleaning validation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Hui Zhang, Chair EH Working Group Cleaning and Validation for your contribution and the contribution of all of your working group members that made the development of this new guideline possible. I would like to give you the opportunity to extend our thanks to your uh, working group members to finish. Sure. Thanks to the diligence and excellent teamwork of all members of our working group, we can now accomplish our work and we are looking forward to publish that uh, very soon. Dear viewer, if you are interested to see what you can learn from this guideline, uh, we invite you to go to the download section of the EH website and all EH members can download this guideline free of charge. Have a great day, Hui. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.